I want you. I want you to have a seat. Yeah, you can sit on that side. Thank you. Wow, big up yourselves. Good spirit. Good spirit. Wow, this is what I'm talking about. You know. Right, you feel the energy. I feel the energy. Yeah. Keep it up. Mila Biasada, close in Tata, flow so tight as Chris Cantara, young Impala, ass like Prada, na kama wezi shika nisha basi weli, basi weli pala, mila enda pale kila kitu dola dola, president moi kibaki wana hola, naonesha kidole, kubo 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 kama Rick Ross, pesa zetu muna fanya, Kazi kwa vijana pesa kwa ma Wacha kuwa Ati wasani wata get gazi twenty dati Nita kuwa fifty four mede danda dati Yes Pere tamu huko wa shati ya kaki jet karatasi Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes SPL Yes Wow, 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 wow It's good to be here Thanks for coming through Thank you, thank you for having the me. The fans have been asking for you, and now you're here. Ah, yes, big up yourselves. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can feel the energy. Woo! And I just want to let you know, guys, everybody has to be a shareake apa. Just believe in yourself, man, and do it, do it, do it. Yes. Yeah, man. Now, <laughs> you've definitely done it. You've done this thing, and you've been in this game for, for a very long time. Your musical style has also changed over the years. Yeah. What would you say the biggest thing that has changed about either you or your music since you've been in this, this industry? Man, you know, it's like exactly 10 years. Oh my God, it's going 11 Ten years. years. 11 years. You know, I started very early, by the way. I did my first music video when I was 11. Uh, I was battling. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know about this rapper called Exhibit. I don't know. You know about him, yeah? Now. You know about it. Sasa niliko na battle na ye. When I was 14 years old, I stepped up to him. I told him, let's battle, you know. So I've been doing this for a while. And, you know, it's just a matter of, you know, growing up and getting to know yourself different. And, you know, I want to do a party song. I want to do a political song. I want to do a dream song. You know, it's, this is being a music artist, being a teacher. I can teach about different subjects, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And of course, you've been flying the Kenyan flag high abroad for us for, for quite a number of years as well. But you still managed to come back and connect oh, yeah. and connect with your people. Yeah, <laughs> How's man, that it's balance important, like it's being important, out there? You know, if I wouldn't, my, my mom and my dad, while you were so strict, while you were say, Ma, now, you, because I grew up in Norway, for those of you who don't know where Norway is, it's up north. Now <laughs> You know, but uh, I grew up there and it was, it was quite tough. It was quite tough because growing up there as the only African, only dark skinned was a challenge, yeah? But my parents used to, my, especially my father used to come every day after school and teach me and my siblings, Kikui and Swahili, told us, you have to know your mother tongue, your mother tongue, yeah, man. <laughs> It's important. It's important. And you still keep it real, of course, yeah, <laughs> which we appreciate. Now, you have some new ventures happening that I want to talk about. The online fashion store that uh, you've got going on. Tell us about what that's all about. Yeah, so uh, last year, uh, September last year, I launched a web shop called Vaki Africa. Now, Sasa Vaki Africa is, uh, is, uh, is aimed for the Scandinavian market because I feel like they don't get to portray Africa the way we know it. You get it? They get to they portray Africa as this cultureless, you know, energyless continent which is always in war and poverty, you know. So, you know, this dashikis you see Akina, the waitress are going with. I mean this stuff should be over there. People should be rocking them. Are you getting it? Our kitengas, I see the sister over there. Like this is the fashion that needs to come out. So it's about time that, you know, we get to celebrate our own fashion rather than, you know, wanting to, to search, search, search when so we have some, the best some here. Some are, are rocking Af African fashions. I'm seeing just on the screen right there yeah. uh, a clip of uh, Vaki Africa and the work that you're doing there. Yes, exactly. Amazing exactly. stuff. So, yeah, man, I, I mean, I just want to keep up 
you know, showing showing Norway, Scandinavia, you know, where I come from, Kenya, and then hopefully, you know, create a platform for other Kenyans, you know, so that when you go to Norway, at least you can say, Kuna biashara huku, najua. Kuna biashara. No. It's a lot of young artists, females especially, and rappers who look up to the, your journey you know, who want to make it international and go, you know, abroad and, and make it out there. What, what, what would you say to somebody who wants to kind of emulate the steps that you've taken in your career? Man, um, first of all, I think that we live in a time where everybody's trying to be something, right. you know, because they, are, they don't want to figure themselves out, so they want to imitate another person. So first of all, never imitate. You're just dissing God when you're trying to imitate another person. So you have to be yourself and figure out what your talent is, you know? And just know that nothing is higher than the other one. Okay, being a musician, being a pilot, being a cleaner, are you getting it? It's the same level, as long as you're doing with it with your heart, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So just um, go deep down inside yourself and be honest. Do you really want to be a rapper or do you want to be a tailor? Are you getting right, it? Right, are you right. getting it? Oh. Yeah, and why yeah. you're getting into the game is important too, not just for the fame or not just for the glitz and the glam. Exactly, exactly. It's something yeah. in your heart. So when, when did you know that this was your path in life? Like, at what, what age did you, and how did you figure it out? Oh my God, I was very young when I figured out that now it's music that I want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, it was when I was eight years old. Uh, I, I skipped school <laughs> early. I ran home. Luckily, my dad was home still, and he was like, Guy, <laughs> Niki and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to go there. They don't understand me, man. They're telling me that I'm monkey. They're telling me I'm this, I'm that. And that's when my dad told me, What? <laughs> Never let anybody define you. And then that's when he played me hip hop. My dad was very, <laughs> very in tuned. So he played me Public Enemy with Fight the Power. What? And then I was like, Guy, now this is how I want to express myself, yeah. being confident. So by the time I was eight, by the time I was 11, I, I hustled. I don't even, I, I won this competition, Nauko. Mm -hmm. uh, so me and a friend, we won a music video. Yeah. And then he just started from there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you knew young and you started young and you got on your hustle. <laughs> yes, yes. But, you know, I was lucky. I was very lucky. Let's just say everybody has their own story. Mm -hmm. But I was lucky because my father was such a, you know, he was an activist. You know, he was like a... a you know, a people, a voice of the people, you know, he believed in righteousness and justice, you know, and so I got this from him, and, but my mom, she's like very, guy, are you going to do music? <laughs> no, <laughs> what is this? Like, what if so, it doesn't work? <laughs> but, but at least, at least they didn't prevent me from, you know, from doing me, you know, Following so I'm lucky dream. that way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, amongst all of your success internationally, your music has made it to Hollywood. I mean, yeah. your songs have been featured on some huge, you know, TV shows, movies, and, and all of that, which, you know, how, did, how does that happen? Man, like, long story short, it's only about keep on working, working, working. You never know where your songs might end up. Uh, but, um, you know, I've had songs on uh, series like American Next, uh, Next Top Model, uh, American Pie, CSI New York, uh, Bones. What? I've had songs what? there, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, and all this started way back in 2005, but now this EP that I just released, these new songs I just performed now, they just dropped, Yanni, so you guys, you're one of the first people to, and I'm so happy to see you guys are rocking on it. You're like, what? I'm rocking with you. Yeah, man, but, but basically, but basically these songs, they are meant for for TV series over there. I just got an email a couple of days ago. I'm sure my team will fill you up on the news. Mm -hmm. But you know the series Being Mary Jane? Hell yeah! That's uh, one of my songs are going to be there, man. In the new episode. Yeah, man. That is... Yeah, man. So it's cool. Amazing. It's cool. It's very cool. And then, um, so basically writing this EP was all about just trying to write songs where I can see myself. Okay, like this can be in a Fast and Furious mm -hmm. movie. This can be in a song like that. Yeah. But uh, now the song that I started with called Big Girl, uh, it got uh, chosen 
for this like a car, this really automotive uh, motorsport uh, platform called Donut Media. Mm -hmm. I'm sure your team also got that mm -hmm. clip. I would like you guys to show them. Yeah, it's yeah. really cool. The yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, right there. I was so like excited that they picked a song like Big Girl and this are uh, like dudes driving fast. Like hardcore <laughs> stuff right there. There's a contrast, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's amazing. And, and I'm sure you must have a very strong team that you work with, I mean, to be able to accomplish everything that you're accomplishing oh, right yeah. now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big, just... up, big up to Tim, you know, big up to Soundset, uh, big up to, uh, you know, my producers, Big City. Big up to my little sis, Sherry, you know, big up to my show show. I know my show show is watching. Hi, so so. Yes, yes, so so. <laughs> big up to my fans. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Now, since we've got you here, uh, you know, what, what, what's your opinion? I always like to ask veterans or people who are seasoned in the industry, like your opinion of what's going on in Kenyan music right now have you you know are you a fan of the progress we've made over the past couple of years do you think there's still more for us to achieve what are your thoughts yeah man you know as i said you know me i've been around since the days where kantai was really mm -hmm. uh, uh nazizi i'm from that time you yeah. understand mm -hmm. and now we got a lot of new cats we got a lot of new f female rappers big up to them you know big up to all the you know young cats like Everybody here can actually sing and rap, you know, it's just expression. So I think we are, we're heading to, uh, you know, a great, a great direction, actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, you know, in case anybody is interested in, in hearing more of your EP, is that possible? Yeah, Where yeah, can that's, yeah, that's really possible. That's really possible. Uh, we're going to put it out. It's not yet on YouTube because it's on Spotify, but the Big Girl song is on YouTube. Okay. And I'm sure that my team, they will try to figure out a way we can put them on, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I'll be basically doing club tours. I'd like to come to your schools and just, yeah. you know. <laughs> yes, why not? <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, we want to congratulate you on all your success. Thank you. I will watch you. Being Mary Jane and like list it out for you. And you're like, do that, do that, girl. Uh, so thank you so much for, for coming through the Ten of Ascent Girl Power Ladies Night. Yeah, and of man. course you brought that gangster swag, so we always appreciate that. Give it up for Big STL. Up. Big everybody. up yourself. Big up yourself. <laughs> Uh, the show does continue. We've got much more coming up next. We want to check out some of the latest music videos. Here is Mfeto Beach Drop. <laughs>